Uh, I think I played pretty good. Yeah. Fortunately, we two lost, so it doesn't really matter, you know, it's all about the team. Yeah. Wish I would play more in the end. I think I was doing a pretty good job on Carmelo. Uh, I think we just, I don't know, we just played a lot harder than we did then. You seem to have a lot of confidence, and the confidence seems to grow throughout the second quarter, especially offensively. Did you come into this game with a different mindset, or did just things just snowball? I mean, before I was thinking too much. I was out there, I was thinking about everything, trying not to make mistakes. And that's what was causing me to make mistakes. But today I just went out there, I just went, went out there with a clear mind. I just decided just, I was just going to go out there and play as hard as I can. And try to rebound as much as I can, try to defend as good as I can. And it led to some easy buckets. What did it mean to you to do this against a guy like Carmelo? I mean, he's one of the league and league and score, and, you know, a star. And then, you know, what does it mean to have this kind of game against him? Yeah, it's a good feeling no matter who it's against. So, uh, Carmelo, I actually talked to him the night I got drafted. You know, he gave me a few words of advice. So then I was out there guarding him, you know, it's like he's kind of one of the players I looked up to. So I guess for me, it just made it extra fuel to try to go out there and stop him. How did you know How did you know of him? Obviously, he's got New York ties. Uh, you're from Queens. Is that how you knew him in the first place? Oh, uh, yeah, you know, um, just through other people. Did you grow up in Knicks or did it yeah. <laughs> give you a little extra juice to that? Yeah. Uh, not really. It's just a little weird, you know. I was thinking about it before the game because my whole life I was a Knicks fan. Even this summer, like last year, I was, I was trying to move for the Northern <laughs> Championship. So, I mean, to be against him now, it's, just, it's a different feeling. Mm -hmm. We talked about the other day. I mean, six months ago, you were watching these guys on TV. Now you're barking, Carmelo Shaw, you're biting up against him. Is that a, a weird feeling or for you? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. I was talking to Kyle on the bench. You know, it's it definitely, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. You know, it's just like guys you look up to growing up, you know, you're on the court playing against them. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'd probably be like that with a couple more guys when we play against them, but it's just a different feeling. But at the same time, it's a good feeling. Jack said he liked how you were attacking to get to the rim a couple times. You got a couple tip ins. You were doing it on both ends, right? Yeah, you know, I was just, like I said, I was going out there just playing hard as I can. Try to make hard cuts, attack the glass as hard as I can on offense and defense. And it led to some easy buckets. Talk about that. You said thinking too much. I mean, it slows you down as a player, right? When, when, yeah. When you don't just play your own reaction. Because mm -hmm. you don't, like, when you, well, me, at least, I'm uh, out there trying to think too much. It's taking away from how hard I play. Because I'm, I'm trying not to make mistakes and trying not to do anything wrong, pretty much. So, me just going out there and just playing off instincts, you know, that's what I usually do. So, mm -hmm. today, that's what I try to do. You know, I spoke to Jameer a couple days ago. He just told me to clear my mind. Before the game, just go out there, play as hard as you can. That's a good advice. It's kind of counterintuitive, right? Because you've got, as a rookie, you have so much to learn and hadn't spent any time out there in the preseason. And uh, I mean, you see video of yourself; they critique it, obviously. So it's got to be somewhat difficult to do that when you're trying to adjust to everything. Right? Yeah, I mean, definitely, because you know, like uh, the coaches say, they rather you make a mistake playing hard than make a mistake not playing hard. So, I mean, naturally, I go back to my natural instincts. Like in college, the, the defensive principles are way different. So when I get tired, I go back to that because it's what's natural to me, you know. But I think once I get used to this more, keep playing at this level, everything on this level is going to become natural. And when I'm tired, I won't make those mistakes that I would make early in the season. Jock said you didn't go through summer league. You didn't go through training camp. But do you feel like you've kind of had to play catch up a little bit to you get caught up to everybody else. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, so whole preseason I was trying to play catch up, trying to get back on the court. You know, these guys have been going since August. You know, August the rookies were here in July, mm -hmm. and everybody else got down here August September. You know, I'm I just started a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Did Did you watch St. John's play early this afternoon? Yeah. What was What's that like to see your Teammates, just as a, I don't know, nine months ago, out there. No, it's a, it's, it's a, it's, it's a pretty good feeling. Well, today was a good feeling because they won. Kind of scared me a little bit, and they threw it away, and it was 
<laughs> it was up three to threw it away. <laughs> to miss the half court shot. But I mean, this is you know those are my brothers, and I'm gonna watch them as much as I can this season. Try to get out to a few games. But you know, I'm rooting for them, so it's just a different feeling. Like now, I'm watching them, and they're they're watching me, so I'm not with them anymore. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. it. None of us obviously played in an NBA game, obviously. Uh, and yet, so what's it like to go out after playing 22 minutes, going out and doing whatever it was you were just doing out there? Um, how, how did you have energy for that? Um, I mean, it's what being a rookie is. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of guys do it, you know, after every game. Even even just today, Joe told me I did, Joe, Joe told me I didn't have to do it, but I felt like I always got to give a little extra work because I'm playing catch up still. You know, I'm trying to get back in the best shape I could get in and be the best player I can be, and that's going to take more than just what regular people are doing. When you see a five, six year veteran like Aaron do that after the last home game here, I mean, it's got to push you to kind of follow in his footsteps, take his. Lead, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Because, um, I mean, I see Aaron every day. He works real hard. So, you know, guys like him, guys like JJ, those are the kind of guys I try to follow, you know, because they, they work really hard every day and they take this their job real seriously. And I think they're pretty good role models. Marisa, just talk about how you're going to build off of this career night going into this road trip now. I mean, uh, it's definitely, I, I took it like a big step today, you know, um, I kind of got out of playing timid. And I'm just going to try to keep it going, just go out there and play as hard as I can every game. Did you get a confidence boost at the very beginning when you went after Tyson Chandler and kind of got that layup to go to start the, start your night? Oh uh, Yeah, definitely. Um, first bucket of the game always gives you a little extra boost. And uh, I think that's what kind of got me going, you know, getting the offensive rebound to put it back in. All right. Thank that's you, Maurice. Thanks, guys.